Dear friends, welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. Today we are going to study the histological slide of masticate premucosa. So this is cretinized oral epithelium. This is the epithelium and this part is the connective tissue part. So this is a low magnification image and this is not an HNE &E staining and this is some other staining that I exactly don't know. But this is a keratinized muc epithelium and this part is the connective tissue part. Now let's see the high magnification image of the same slide. So this is a high magnification image. These cells that are just adjacent to the basement membrane, these are the basal cell layer. And these cells, they have a cuboidal in shape. The cuboidal cell layer, it is two to three cell layer thick. This cell layer is the spinous layer. And these cells, they have ovoid shape. You can see especially in, for example, this cell. So these cells, they are more ovoid in shape. Again, this cell, this cell. So these cells, they are ovoid in shape. The next layer is granular cell layer because the granules, keratohyaline granules, they are present in these cells. So, so because keratohyaline granules, they are present, so we call this as granular layer. Though in this slide, uh, the granules, they are not very clearly visible. So these cells, the granular cell layer, they, these cells, they are flattened in shape. You can see. They have a fusiform shape, for example, this cell. So the, it, it is also a several layer thick. The topmost and the last layer is the cornified layer in which the cells, they are extremely flattened and all the organelles, they are lost, including the nucleus, for example. No nucleus is visible over here. And the cells, they are filled with this material that is known as keratin. Because in this pattern of keratinization, no nucleus is visible. That's why this pattern is also referred as orthokeratinization. The opposite pattern of keratinization is known as parakeratinization. In parakeratinization, the nucleus in some of the cells, you can see small nucleus, small pycnotic nucleus are there. So as no nucleus is visible and the cell, it only contain keratin, that's why it is known as the orthokeratin, orthokeratinized epithelium. The locations in the oral cavity where this type of mucosa is present, it is mainly this type of mucosa. It is present on the heart palate because in the heart palate, there is thick layer of keratin. Other parts of the oral cavity where this type of mucosa is present is, is the gingiva and some part of the specialized mucosa also has a keratinized layer. The connective tissue of domesticatory mucosa consists of densely packed collagen fibers. So this is a brief summary of the histology of a keratinized oral mucosa. Uh, feel free to ask questions in the comments and if you like this video, please do give me your feedback. If you have any questions, you may ask in the comments and do share this video with your colleagues. Thank you very much for watching. Stay blessed.